Hey there, and welcome to another book talk. Today I am talking about The Frame Up by Wendy McCloyd McKnight. It is part mystery, part fantasy, and all kinds of fun. Basically, there are two rules for the residents of the Beaverbrook Art Gallery. And yes, residents of an art gallery. Don't move in your painting when humans are in the building, and don't get caught outside of your painting. That's right, the subjects of the paintings in this particular gallery are alive, and they have the ability to move, to wander, to explore, as long as they follow these two rules when there aren't people in the building. It's Mona Dunn. She's about to break both of these rules. For one, she is a 13-year-old girl trapped in a painting now for a hundred years. Or really, she's not a 13-year-old girl, she's a portrait of a 13-year-old girl, and she's sick of being stuck. Also, all of her time on the gallery walls has her convinced that something shady is going on, and that not all is as it appears to be at the gallery. Our second point of view is from a 12-year-old boy named Sergeant Singer. He is an aspiring artist, he loves visiting the gallery, and he is the one that Mona decides to share her secret with. She's not so worried that he's going to expose the resident's secret, I mean, who would believe him anyway? He's just an art lover, he loves the gallery as much as the people who are in it, and he wants to have his work there someday. He's far more interested in this particular heist that Mona is convinced might be underway. Is someone trying to close the gallery? Is someone trying to rob it? Is someone trying to bring it down? So the two are sharing points of view in this story, and there are two big questions that they are trying to answer. One, who is trying to bring the gallery down? And two, is Mona destined to be stuck in her frame forever? So like I said, this is part mystery, obviously, part fantasy. And what's also cool is that the various paintings that are discussed in the book are then shown in the back in the picture so you can see what it is that people are talking about. So again, this is the frame up by Wendy McLeod McKnight. And if it sounds like something you're interested in, I highly recommend that you add it to your to-read list and see if it's available from a library or a local independent bookstore. That's it for me for now. Take care. Bye.